Welcome to this video on how to set up Attract for your personal project. Attract comes with your Blender Cloud subscription and it's very handy if you work alone or with a team to keep track of assets and shots in a short film production, for example. Attract is pretty straightforward to set up, so let's get to it. Here we have Caminandes Lamigos, a project that I'm a member of, and this is why I can see the Edit Project button. I can click on it and in this sidebar I see the Attract navigation entry. And this is where I can configure Attract. Because the project is not set up yet, I don't see any option. So let's click the button. And now Caminandes is set up to be used with Attract. Here I can customize the task types for shots and for assets. We will see how this works in Attract in a moment. In this project, I decided that we are not going to use a layout task type for assets, so I can simply delete it, save the task type list, and uh, we are ready to go. At this point, I can visit cloudblender.org slash attract slash caminandes3, which is the URL of my project, and uh, I can see attract. <laughs> it looks a bit empty, so let's do something about it. Let's go to the asset section and create a new asset. I can give a name. set a status, and uh, save the asset. Now that I have an asset, I can create tasks for it. So let's create a modeling task and assign it to Pablo. This is how we create assets, tasks, and we assign them to users. But what about the shot list? How do we populate that? For this, we need to unleash the power of both Blender and Attract. This way, we will be able to submit the entire shot list from the short film directly within Blender. Let's see how to do that. Here I have Blender. I need to make sure that my Blender ID add-on is enabled. So I launch the preferences window. I search for Blender ID. I make sure that this is on and that I am logged in. Then I look for the Blender Cloud add-on. I scroll all the way to the bottom and I click Find Project to Load. This query is the Blender Cloud server for projects that I am a part of. I select Caminandes Lamigos and the add-on knows that this project is set up for Attract. Now we can save our user settings so the next time we launch Blender we still have them. Now let's uh, load the edit of the film. Here it is. Now I can select all the strips and now I can select all the strips of the movie, go to the sidebar, find the attract panel and press the submit selected strips as a new shot. All the selected strips have been sent to attract. Now when I go to the shot list and reload it, all the shots of the movie have been created. Now that we have added all the shots to attract, we can uh, select the strips again and uh, create a thumbnail for each and every shot automatically. To do that, we press the Render Thumbnail button. Here it says uh, 33 shots because that's my current shot selection. I press it. Uh, right now, Blender is going in the middle of every shot and uh, rendering a frame and uh, uploading it to the cloud automatically for us. If we go to the Shots view, we can see that the shots start uh, appearing. While shots uh, thumbnails are being generated, we can start adding tasks. For example, let's add a layout task. It's a to-do. We can assign it to users. We can see the activity being updated here. Now that most shots have been added, we get a great preview of how the movie looks like and we can go ahead and keep adding tasks and updating shot statuses and collaborate with our team and keep track of how the production is going. That's it for this little demo. You can learn more about Attract on cloudblender.org slash attract. You can learn about other cloud services like Flamenco, Blender Sync or Texture Library on cloudblender.org slash services. Thank you. Bye bye.